name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. A uh, hundred Bible stories. We have to read this. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. We will read this today. Oh, sorry. God made sure that the Garden of Eden and everything that Adam and Eve needed to be happy. The sun kept them warm so they didn't need clothes. They won't embarrass it about being naked anyway. A gushing steam gave them water all stores of flowers plant and trees grow They're far giant and shady and bearing tasty fruits and nuts and seed. In the middle of the garden grow the two most beautiful tree of all. The tree of life and the tree of knowledge. knowledge. Take care of my martial garden. God told Adam and Eve, enjoy eating anything you like, except the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Please do not eat those. If you do, you will die. Adam and Eve Adam and Eve did as they were told, and their life in the garden was wonderful until one day Eve met a snake. The snake was by, by far the most cunning of all the creatures. God had made very silly Silly, it asked Eve, did God really tell you not to eat from one of the trees? That is the tree of the... And there's a snake. Yes, that one, replied Eve, pointing to the tree of knowledge. He said that if we do, we will die. 
I don't think we're even allowed, allowed to touch. Nonsense, sneezed the snake. You won't die. God doesn't want you to eat the fruit because you you eat that fruit because if you do, you will become like him. You will know the difference between good and bad, just as he does. Eve, guess <clears throat> Eve, guess Oh, wait Guess Nervously at the tree of knowledge <clears throat> He how beautiful it is its leaves whispered my stir you'll see in the breeze and its branch start to round her its fruit hung down red rip and ready to drop into her hand how wonderful it would be to come wise become wise eve mumbled overcome Which longing she reached out, picked the nearest fruit, fruit and took a big juicy bite. It was so delicious. Surely something that tastes so good could not be wrong. Eve hurried to share the fruit with Adam and he couldn't rest it trying to eat it. Suddenly, Adam and Eve well recognized that they didn't indeed know the difference between good and bad and what they And what they tried <clears throat> the complete felt felt dreadfully ashamed and were embarrassed. About staining naked too. They tried it to sew leaves together to cover themselves. Then, in horror, they heard God coming. Quickly they hide, but God knew. Adam, God called, where are you and Eve hiding from me? They're eating the food. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
The red face come <coughs> pumple cryptid at hanging their hands. We are frightened when we hurt you, and also we won't dress it. Adam mumbled. What has he made <coughs> you want clothes? And why are you afraid of me? God damn it, you haven't eat the fruit. I ask you not to eat. Have you? Adam wandered up, but he <coughs> but he blamed it all on Eve, who in turn blamed the snake. God listened as they squeamed and splatted. Then they then would hug this up poor and meant he said I have no choice but to Punish you all. They have eaten the fruit. <coughs> so they're getting punishment now. <coughs> he He sent the snake crawling away in his the dust. The any of humans forever. After making animals skin clothes of Adam and Eve, <clears throat> he turned them out of their beautiful garden home. From now on, you will have. to find yourself and strangle to ground grow fruit, God told them, and one day you will go back to being the earth from which I made you. You will no one day die, he said. Angels with fairy swords out to ground the tree of life so that Adam and Eve could not eat its fruit to save themselves from even Tolal. Dying Dying God, which did the great gentleness as the shamed couple worked in, out into the world. Finish. Let's see, I read until here. Hmm, what should I put? Maybe this one? I don't know what is this one, but I'll put like this one. <coughs> yes, today I read the Bible story. I 
fürs Wenden. Bye!